what's up guys how are we all doing welcome to the channel welcome to cattle and crops i wasn't sure if i was gonna get this game and paul very very kindly donated it well, well bought it for the channel so i thought so I, did, I had a little look last night and OMG. I went in sandbox. Nope. I have no idea. Like literally zero idea about this game. Um I played for about I don't know, maybe half an hour. I am fucking lost on this game. So this should be quite interesting. As you can see, I've done like one little tutorial but what i want to try and do <clears throat> if i can is there's only the one map that does say that it's mod capable so we're gonna can i wait a second no 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 ah become a farmer i want to do these right i want to do tutorials okay so player controls i think we could probably get away with that. So we look into machines, maybe? This is the one I did before, right? Like machine control, all right? So let me start here and work our way. And we'll do a few tutorials. You guys and girls can have a look and see what the game looks like. And we can move on bit by bit. And as soon as I know what, or what to do, then we should be okay. Hopefully. Now, the latest update, which was March the 30th, was a performance update. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't changed any graphical settings whatsoever. Oh my god, an MB track. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't changed any graphical settings whatsoever. And I fluctuate, and it's a big fluctuate, between 40 and 100 FPS. Sort of 40 in the built-up, in the yards and that. But I'll get about 100 if I'm looking out at fields and, and that kind of stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, hopefully, we should be okay. The other thing I've realised is this, I have to give this time to... It actually doesn't seem too bad right now. Um, can I do... Is there mouse settings, actually? Uh, gameplay. The mouse is very, very sensitive. Camera. That might be it, mine it? Field of view. No. Field of view. Move camera with six suspension. That's not right. Player. Uh, is there absolutely no way... to no okay chase camera would that be it no that's cockpit doesn't seem to be any way to change your um um <clears throat> uh, mouse controls right so let's just continue so i'm sorry if it's a bit janky i'll have to go into my dpis and stuff and work out if i can uh have a have a setting for the mouse al alone for here. Oh, we have a little pussycat. Hello. Run away. It's very very. It's a, it's 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 a, it's a nice game. It's not very loud, is it? Might be okay when we get into the things. But I kind of this is when stuff happens. Like I kind of like that when you walk in, the lights come on. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'd, I've also noticed that when you walk up to doors, they automatically open. So whether there's a whether there's a setting or not, we'll, we'll we'll look into that at a later date. But right, let's go here. So it's E to get in. Same as usual as as um as uh, farm sim, pretty much. These are pretty cool inside though. Switch to the next vehicle using the button. Tab button. Same as farm sim. Ooh, doits. 
I already know C is the... That's what I'm saying, look. Now, that takes ages. And it's really, really, really janky. And then it's fine. Smooth as a baby's ass. So, uh, right, let's go back inside here. I haven't set me... My wheel won't work. So I've got to look into that. So I'm using keyboard. So that's going to look really good, right? Uh, so let's go back to the case. Case. Class, sorry. <clears throat> uh, turn the motor on. Number pad, enter. I feel, apart from some of the buttons, like the ones we're looking at here, I feel the actual controls and the dash is easier, visually. Don't know, might be wrong. Uh, Deactivate the parking brake. Boom. Nice. Stair left. Whoop. Stair right. Whoop. Lovely. Accelerate. Oh, hello. Nice. And diesel I've done that. Switch off the dipped headlight. What? F. That's so that can say that's on, right? Drive to the road. Don't run the cat over. All right, all right, meow. Put the handbrake on again. Change the camera perspective for C. Nice. I like it. I, I do like it. I do. It looks... Looks pretty cool. No idea what he's doing with his with his hands, though. They're nowhere near the wheel, dude. Like, nowhere near... Would you keep putting your hand down there? Right, let's drive around the barn. Yeah, that looks very weird. Does it? Hang on. <laughs> Just look at something. Yeah. Handbrake. Brake. Feet don't work either. The pedals do. Yeah, there's a, there's a few little things, but I mean... If you're in cab, you're not going to know it's crap like that, are you, obviously? Let's stop that there. Nice. Drive to the silo. That's not a silo. All I see there... All I see there is a ramp. That's... That's what I can see. Reverse up to the cultivator. I do kind of like the fact that you've only got to, like, touch the reverse button and it'll kind of just keep going for a bit until you actually stop. Boop. Like that. Attach with Q. Pretty much the same. Wow. Bit heavy for this one, the front weight. Oh, hang on, the why the why the wheels moving, but we're not. It's very weird. Drive to field 14. Over yonder. Yeah, this definitely needs a front weight. Unfold everything with X. Pretty much the same, the same button layout as um, as farm sim. Lower with V. Awesome. Raise with V. Didn't like that much, did it? And fold it back up again with X. There we go. That's the basics. That's the basics of the vehicles. Vehicles have a lot more functions. But that will do for now. Damn right that will do. I know control brings up the cursor. So we can do what we want. Let's complete that. Hold down hold down left control. Nice. Next tutorial, radial menu. 
but this tutorial is part of the certificate driving next certificate tutorial radial menu okay let's begin that then shall we let's begin on there visually so far i kind of like it it's it's weird because what i'm trying not to do is i'm trying not to compare it with farm sim i know it's really difficult but i'm trying not to do that i've always said a game should be a standalone game and but but you, you you do. It's a natural thing to do. You kind of look at it and go, well, Farm Sim does that better. Or, you know, if it's a truck game, ETS does that better. Or whatever. You know, but I'm trying not to be too, doing too much comparisons if I can possibly help it. Whoa! Crap. Start the tutorial. Ooh, hello. In the tutorial, you'll learn how to use the radial menu to control the various functions of your machines. You'll also learn how to set up and use fast access via the radial menu. Okay, let's begin. So is that, where's the, right, open the radial menu. Oh, middle mouse button. Holy crap. Turn engine on. Hang on. Rear. Oh, that's the rear three point hitch. Store front. Three point hitch arms. Okay. Move tow pin hitch up and down. This is pretty darn cool. Turn on rear diff. Turn on center diff. Turn on front diff. Turn on four wheel drive. Okay. So we're going to do. Turn the motor on. Boom. Switch to the fourth ring. More rings? Hang on a minute. How do we... Oh my god, oh okay, just scroll wheel. Wow, okay. Switch on the rotating... Beacon light. That one. Oh my god. Can we come out of camp to do this? No. Switch to the implement. Is that just E? No way. Okay. Select the fold out section. That's that bit. Fold out seeding system. A. Fold out. Assign the function to quick slot 5. F. What? Press the slot button. Oh my god. <laughs> Close the radio menu. So have we just now... What the hell have I just done there, then? Press the slot button. Five. Oh. My. God. Okay. Radio menu again. Switch back to the vehicle. Q. Switch to the fourth ring. One. Uh, hang on, no. One, two. That one. Switch off the lights. That one. Switch to the last ring. Detach the cedar. Boom. Wow. Go back to the first ring. Put the motor section. Turn off motor. Wow, okay, that was, that was intense. That was very intense. What's that thing running across there near that cat? That squirrel? Don't know what it is. Okay, congratulations, you now know how to use the radio menu. There's a fucking hell of a lot to this game. 
You also learn how to get fast access to key functions. That's that's pretty cool. So you can set it all up for each individual tractor and an implement, I'm presuming. You learn how to use the autopilot. Autopilot. So we're talking GPS, right? All right. Let's 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 do let's do one more. We'll do one more of this little tutorial. And then maybe, yeah, maybe we'll sort of, I'd like to get some, I'd, I'd like to get some farming done. I would like to get some farming done if I can possibly help it. Let's, no way. I'm actually quite impressed with that. That's That's a cool thing to have. So everything is all... Oh, MP track. So having everything on a radial dial... Quote me if I'm wrong here. But that would make it easier to put something like this on console, right? Less buttons. Don't know. Right. Uh, in your vehicles, you have the option of using the autopilot. The autopilot navigates your vehicle to a marker. Oh, okay. You have set on the map. It will drive along roads and paths, sticking to the speed limit. When autopilot can drive without sitting... What? When? Autopilot can drive without sitting inside the vehicle is activated in the difficulty options you can leave the vehicle and have someone else drive it to the destination you don't require a free employee for this what is happening i kind of like look everything's here simple ic is already in game change driving orientation Release parking brake, toggle four wheel drive, turn engine on, rear wiper, front wiper. Work lights, rear work lights. This is pretty darn cool, I must be honest. Cabin lights. Alright. Alright, I'm impressed. I, I will I will go that far. I am impressed. Right, open the minimap. M minimap. Holy crap! Activate the cursor by left control. Yes. Right click by set a waypoint on the map. What well, does it not matter where we go? So we're here. All right, let's set a waypoint to. We go PGA. Ah. Oh, I like the way it actually sets you out a little course. Okay, close the minimap. Okay. Activate the autopilot. N. Shut up. Oh! Oh, it just, it just killed the cat. Fucking driver just ran over the cat. Man. This is a really, really cool feature. So you can also just go set autopilot and then you can hop out and do, do another one and you can send everything over to the wherever it needs to be. This is cool. Like I said, I'm a bit disappointed with the way that the, that the driver sits. But he's bald like me, so that works. I have seen other vehicles on here as well, so I don't know how... how that works. Wow. No 
Okay. We are here. Uh oh. Is it actually gonna it actually drives over the way bridge? Oh are you you actually gonna drive onto that point, right? The autopilot stops automatically. And that's all you need to need to know to use the autopilot. What the hell? What the actual, right? What the actual? That! Ah, oh, crap, my menu. Shite. Shite, 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 shite. That's amazing. Honestly. That really, really is amazing. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. All right, that's enough for this one, I think. If, if you want to see more, drop a like, leave me a comment, let me know if you want me to carry on. We'll do some tutorial bits and pieces. I might do another save and start with Sandbox because I th and try and work it out as well. So bit by bit. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, please, please, please let me know. Let me know if you want me to carry on and do some more of this. Um, guys, it's been a pleasure. Please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, subscribe if you have not done so already. And I will catch you all in the next one. Look after yourselves. Take care of each other. More importantly, remember, don't be a dick. Catch you next time.